rays upon us that are so on the wings of inspiration for us, Eleanor Roosevelt, Vice Lady Clayard. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their country. The future for the inspirations of my young mentor, Doris.
Bishop of Central Province and the patron of our college, His Lordship, Right Reverend Dr. Vanos Mendes. Vice Prior, Reverend Father Susay Nabal, representative of the Reverend Father Shamendra Javadana, Prior Major of the Sylvester Benedictine Congregation. The Procurator General of the Diocese of Vera Reverend Father, Mir Roy Fonseca. The Vicar General, Vera Reverend Father Alvin Fernando. Reverend Father Titus Rodrigo, our former principal. Our Rector, Reverend Father Henry Bernard Vijay Ragna. Reverend Father Gregory Fernando, the Deputy Principal and the Master of Discipline. The Headmaster of the Primary Department, Reverend Father Dushanta Pereira. Reverend Father Aradia Jayasundara, Principal of Trinity College Candy. Senior Assistant Secretary of Ministry of Education, Central Province, Mr. Prabhat Madhumarachi, the representative of the Chief Secretary of Ministry of Education, Central Province. The Provincial Director of Education, Mr. Amara Siripiyadasa. The Divisional Director of Education, Mr. Veera Khadi. The Deputy Director of Education and the College Coordinator, Madam K.D.D. Priyadarshani. Mr. Mark Stephen, the President of the All Boys Association. The Zona Director of Education, Madam Chabari Andarage. Mr. Rohan Vijay Singh, President All Boys Association, Colombo Branch. Mr. Srilal Mendes, the Coordinator of the Padua Building. Mr. Gayan Herat, Architect of the New Padua Building. begin every event with the Almighty, let us all take part in a more solemn way in the opening prayer service conducted by His Lordship, Bishop of Central Province and the Patron of our College, Right Reverend Dr. Valence Mendes.
talk to you in a and right moral guidance will truly hear the words of your son and attend to the inner instruction of the Holy Spirit. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from St. Paul's first letter to Corinthians. For we, co-workers in God's service, you are God's field, God's building. By the grace of God has given me, I laid a foundation as a wise builder, and someone else is building on it. But each one should build it with care, for no one can lay any foundation other than the one already laid, which is Jesus Christ. If anyone builds on this foundation using gold, silver, costly stones, wood, hay or straw, their work will be shown for what it is, because the day will bring it to light. It will be revealed with fire, and the fire will test the quality of each person's work. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response. Preserve me, O God, preserve me, O God, I take refuge in you.
Please be seated. As we open the curtains, sit back and enjoy while the story unfolds of the giant leap taken by the Antonians as a community. With the Antonian community are gathered here today for a special cause. It's a day to be recorded as magnificent in the legacy of St. Anthony's College Candy. His Lordship, the Bishop of Central Province and the patron of our college, Right Reverend Dr. Valence Mendes, Reverend Father Susay Nadan, the Vice Prior of the Sylvester Benedictine Congregation, Reverend Father Titus Rodrigo A.S.P., the former principal, my immediate predecessor, and the Reverend Fathers, those who are present here, the Senior Assistant Secretary of Education, Central Province, Mr. Prabhat Madhimarachi, the Provincial Director of Education, Mr. Amadasiri Diyadasa. The Sonal Director of Education, Madam Chamari Andarege. The College Coordinator for the SDEC, Madam Kennedy Priyadarshani. Mr. Mark Steven, the President of the OBA. The members of the SDEC, the CDC, and the building committee, and my dear special invitees, the parents, and my dear young Antonian gentlemen.
On this momentous occasion, as St. Anthony's College can commemorate its 170, 70th anniversary, it brings me great joy to extend a warm welcome to all of you gathered here for the inauguration of our newest edition, the Padua Building. This cutting edge edifice stands as a testament to the foresight of my predecessor, Reverend Father Titus Rodrigo. The glorious structure stands as a witness to our unwavering commitment to nurturing young Antonians' minds and providing them with a safe, inspiring environment to learn, grow and thrive. As we step into this new chapter, let us reflect on the journey that brought us here, a journey fueled by passion, dedication and shared vision. The journey to the completion of this remarkable structure was marked by numerous challenges causing delays in its construction until it finally commenced in April 2016. Originally envisioned as a seven-story building, it was realized with five stories, leaving room for future expansion. Designed to meet the developing needs of both current and future generations of Antonians, the Padua building boasts modern services and facilities. With the total project cost of 352 million rupees, totally contributed by the parents, overseen by the Provincial Education Department of Kandy, its construction marks a significant investment in our college's infrastructure. <coughs> Among its features are state-of-the-art classrooms, accommodations and meals rooms for visiting teams, meeting spaces, auditoriums, a library, an archive and museum, as well as conference halls. Furthermore, we anticipate outsourcing these facilities to generate a sustainable income which will be instrumental in covering the rising administrative expenses of the college. The Padua building not only serves as a hub for academic and administrative activities, but also aims to enhance students' technical skills and introduce new subjects like home economics. Additionally, the Padua building opens up new opportunities for language labs, paving the way for comprehensive career guidance regarding higher studies. Further, it empowers young Antonians to develop essential skill, skills independently. Dear young Antonians, the heartbeat of this hallowed institution, you will soon fill these halls with laughter, questions, and boundless energy. You will forge friendships, discover hidden talents, and create memories that will last a lifetime. To you young boys, I say, embrace this space as your own. Let it ignite your imaginations and propel you towards greatness continuing the grandeur of your alma mater. As we express gratitude for the successful realization of this project, we extend our heartfelt thanks to individuals such as Mr. Gayan Hera, the architect, Mr. Sri Lal Mendes, the coordinator, the coordinator of the project, and the building committee, the members of the building committee, and officials of the Provincial Department of Education, along with all the others who contributed in various capacities to bring this long-awaited project to fruition. As we inaugurate this building, let us also remember those who came before us, the visionaries, the pioneers, and the torchbearers. 
Their legacy lives on every brick, every bed, and every classroom. Let us honor their memory by ensuring that this space become a place of knowledge, kindness, and inclusivity. Today, as we celebrate this milestone, let us acknowledge the blessings of the divine and the collective effort that has made this achievement possible. May the Padua building stand as a beacon of progress and prosperity for generations of Antonians to come. May God bless you. Thank you, Lord, Father Principal. The towering essence following every creation is rooted in love and unwavering passion. Who better embodies this spirit than the distinguished all boys of our cherished college? Their relentless drive has been an invaluable blessing, shaping our institution in varied ways. Now it is the time for them to share the narrative behind this magnificent, magnificent edifice, unveiling their profound contribution to its legacy. I now cordially invite Mr. Srila Mendes, the coordinator of this building site, to give a briefing about the college history and the journey in achieving what we have today. Sir, the podium is yours. especially the distinguished guests at the head table. I'm not going to repeat the names as uh, the principal has announced. Uh, the visiting officials from the Education Ministry, Reverend Fathers, old boys, parents, and students. Today is a historical and memorable day for all Antonian fraternity. This is the second event in the history of St. Anthony. When you compare Sixty years ago, the Reverend Father Asati Memorial Hall, which was built by the well wishers and the old boys and the parents. Today, which stands as a landmark in Kandy in Central Province. And at that time, it was one of the best assembly hall, school hall ever in the history of Sri Lanka. Nowadays, there are many which has come up. But today, Due to the vision of Father Titus Rodrigo in the late 2008-2009, he built up this building, which was planned to be a seven-story building with all modern facilities as mentioned on this list, to be a state of art and taking the education to the next century, that is the 21st century. However, due to obstructions and petitions, it was delayed till 2012. And finally, we set it off in 2013 under Father Bernard Vijaytunga. Uh, sorry. However, at that time also, there was a court case which lasted three and a half years. So we could not start the construction, in fact, till 2016, April 5th, we laid the foundation with then Chief Secretary. And this was handled by the provincial department to the value of 200 million rupees, the superstructure at that time. So, which was all funded by the parents and well wishers. And the technical know-how was given by the Department of Education. And I must thank, from that time, Mr. Javardana, who was the director, then Mrs. Disanayaka, and Mr. Deepanath Disanayaka, who was the engineer. Right throughout, from 2016, they were with us, helping us. Once the superstructure came up, the 
uh, sorry, the opening ceremony, we started off with the most important factor, the piling, which was very essential due to the terrain of the place where it was muddy and watery. So that piling took a quite a long period and it has to be done properly. In fact, you could see there were 51 piles gone underground to make this building a strong and a long-lasting place. Therefore, this construction went on till 2020 with the Department of Education with a stop in 2019 due to the Saharan attack and here are the superstructure buildings at that time construction which was carried out. Thereafter, in 2021, we, after the department completed the superstructure, we continued with the civil world once again and then we hit the COVID which was a, again an obstacle for us. And after the COVID came the economic disaster, which really put the pressure on the building as the escalation of prices, you all know, was around about 200% to 300. So the decision was made to make it a five story at that time, leaving the two stories to be built later on. And we started off all, and that's what is the reality of the finishes of this building, which will now consist not the envisaged plan of uh, Reverend Father Titus at this moment, but only thing which is to be completed is the uh, accommodation for the teams and the vocational training classes. That what you see is the rooftop, which is sufficient for the uh, to provide sports fac uh, facilities like uh, indoor nets, which was also planned earlier. And completed costs for this five story at the moment with 14 modern classes, three auditoriums, library and archives, administration, and state of art library, which will incorporate a computer section also very soon. So, those are the things which will be incorporated in this. And this cost escalation was mainly due to the delays of which was unforeseen and beyond our control of the project. In this respect, I wish to really thank uh, architect Diane Herat, who has been there since 2010, doing the conceptual drawing with Father Titus. Thereafter, sticking with very patience over the last 10 years to complete this. Out of 10 years, nearly six years, there was no work due to outside events. So we do hope that someday the balance two stories will be completed and you will have uh, ultra modern buildings for the students to enhance their education in different fields rather than in a classroom because the classrooms are very spacious here for everybody uh, so they can and all with smart TV to be incorporated and break up classrooms as well as auditoriums like this, three or two on the top two floors, which will be interactive educational system taking forward. Thank you everybody. And I will just finish off with thanking the Education Engineering Division very much for all their support which they have given. I know both are not here, Mrs. Disanayaka and Mr. Deepanath Disanayaka are due to unavoidable circumstances. Thank you, sir. Moving on, it is now time to hear from our chief guest who graced this occasion with his presence. So, I now very respectfully invite his lordship, Bishop of Candy, and the patron of our college, Right Reverend Dr. Valence Mendes, to inspire our young Antonians to soar towards glory.
Mother's Reverend Father Rector, the principal, and uh, dear Reverend Fathers, Mr. Prabhat, the senior uh, assistant secretary of the education department of the central province, and Father Titus, the pioneer of this project, and uh, their teachers, all the members of the staff, their parents and distinguished guests, and the other officials of the Ministry of Education or the Department of Education, and my dear children. Today is a very historic day for us, for the central province, of course, and also for our Diocese of Kandy. Uh, for this beautiful uh, uh, building that was declared open today and blessed to open today. There is a saying in the Bible, Bible, if God does not build the house or the building, in vain is the builder's labor. That means, uh, we, we did it, you did it, but ultimately, according to our belief, it is God who did it. Because if it is not according to God's will, things won't happen in this world, in our lives. So, therefore, first of all, let us thank and praise God because, uh, for guiding us and guiding everyone to see this beautiful piece of art that we, have, we are witnessing today. And having said that, I must also uh, remember in a special way Father Titus Rodrigo, who is my batchmate also during study time, uh, for this uh, beautiful concept. Because, uh, as you know, the development in any place begins in the mind. So, it is something that uh, was done in his mind that was put to effect and practice and it is real, being realized today. So, we thank Father Titus for, for his dream uh, and I am sure he will be one of the happiest today to see the completion of this building. And uh, one day when I came to the college for some function, I asked Father Henry, when are you finishing this building? He said that we have been doing this for the last 10 years or so. Uh, then I asked, uh, who is funding? Then he asked me, why do you want to fund? Well, I said, uh, we will have to see. But then, uh, I came to know that it is being funded totally by the parents and the beneficiaries and uh, those who love the college. So therefore, I must thank Father Rector, Father Henry, Bernard Henry Bernard, uh, for this uh, for his dedication and commitment to see the realization of this project. As you all know, it is not easy to do a building of this nature especially in the context of our times. So, therefore, we congratulate Father Rector for his uh, commitment and uh, dedication in realizing this project together with the, with the architect, Mr. Hera, and uh, Mr. Sridhar is the coordinator. I think the three of them, of course, all the others who are behind it, they, they deserve a round of applause the three of them. So having said that, uh, uh, I must say certain things I said that Father Titus is my best friend and uh, just now, ten minutes ago, we found a very unexpected link between Mr. Prabhat and uh, myself because uh, I asked Mr. Prabhat, uh, what is your hometown? He said he is from Parnatura. Then I said that I am from Boratura because it's just two, three kilometers away. Then he asked me, where did I study? 
I said St. Sebastian's College, for the poor. He said, I also studied there. So, uh, then both of us said that it's a very small world. Uh, so, we thank you for your presence today. And you are representing the government today, in the central province of the Ministry of Education also. And uh, as I understand, uh, the Ministry of Education was monitoring this building, which is very good. And uh, in that sense, it is, a, I would say, in a certain sense, public-private partnership. Because that is how we are doing the, the entire college, not only the building, we have a very direct link with the government uh, in the maintenance of this college. And uh, we thank you for your presence. And please can we have uh, best wishes for the secretary also, Mr. Herath, who with whom we met recently also. Because uh, there are a few issues on education that we are having a dialogue with the ministry and with the government to to safeguard the rights of our children. So, thank you very much once again. We, we look forward to your uh, kind assistance. We don't ask unreasonable things, <laughs> only when there are issues to protect the children and their rights, we, we approach the government and the ministry. And then, uh, my talk is not a vote of thanks, but uh, I must uh, remember the parents who have contributed uh, enormously in realization of this work. Uh, because that shows your love for the school and for the children. 352 million is not a simple task. So therefore it is May God bless your generosity and all what you have done for the school. And then uh, we know that the future of the country depends on the quality of education. What we need today as a country is most of all not, not only education, but quality education. Or, or rather, we may say even value education. Because uh, very often we find that uh, when we say education, some seem to think of passing the exams and qualifications. But that is not the purpose of education. Education means, that very word means, uh, it, sometimes everything else, everything else happens except drawing out. What do you draw? The capacity, the inner capacity of a child. The inner strength of the child. So that is what education is for. And therefore, the future of the country and also the present depends on the quality education we give to our children, the value education, the moral education. We, we see a huge moral decadence in the society today in our country. We are talking about the political decadence and the financial breakdown. But behind that, there's a huge moral decadence. And we know the, the use of drugs in this country and all kinds of e other evils. So the response to this is value education. That is why we need good schools like this. Of course, St. Anthony is, I must say, one of the top schools in the country, not only in Central Province. And then we have to protect this. Why I, what I mean by good school is where children now help to build up their life, their future. If you can pass and have big qualifications but fail in your life to be a good human being, to have good values, to be kind and generous and sympathetic. You are doing this project today because you are generous because of your education, the parents, what you have had before. Education is what makes a person a person, a good person. Because you are a good person, it is a, this building is a result of that. So the future, if we want a future to see in this country, we have to certainly concentrate a lot on education and to safeguard our children, protect our children, and for which 
we are all committed as a church, Catholic Church in Sri Lanka, where right. else we are. We are doing our best to help you and uh, we don't expect anything from the government except the uh, infrastructure and the teachers, there are vacancies for teachers in some schools and uh, sometimes the distances, a uh, uh, lot of things are happening. But still for all, uh, we need to keep on working on those areas for which we as church are always open and ready to help, help you, help the government. Because uh, most of the schools in the country are government schools and uh, we, we associate with education purely, purely for the love of the children and for the love of the country. We don't have hidden agendas. So, especially as priests and sisters, nuns, we have dedicated our life, we have dedicated our life like the, like the Buddhist monk. Buddhist monk also leaves the world in order to help the, uh, to raise the human nature. In the same way, a Catholic priest or a religious sister has sacrificed one's life for the sake of the people, for the sake of the children. So it is the duty of the government to make use of that uh, human resource which is given as a free gift program today and more than anything else it, as it was mentioned this building it's a state of the art building everything is architecturally designed and even this hall this color this little uh, orange color on the roof and the, and the gray they are all done according to a certain art there's a thing called color therapy so congratulations to the architect and all those who are behind it and uh, I will pray that the next few stories will come up soon, slowly but steadily, no need to rush. Things will happen in God's good time. So thank you very much once again for inviting me. It has been a joy to be with you and I'll be with you as your patron. Patron means your father but I will be there with the, as the mother also. God bless you. Lordship for those inspiring words. It is now time to let your thoughts wander in rhythms while the very walls echo in universal language of music. I now call and invite Master Lordship of to entertain us with a song.
brother to that melody's performance. I now respectfully invite Rev. Father Titus Rodrigo Hornsby, the former principal of our college, to share his truths and insights on this graceful occasion. Pitmala, the Nai Kati, Pokil Pasal of the Sepati, Vidual Parishre, 
විශේෂයෙන් පාසලේ මිලිය සහ මුල සිටම සිංහල ඉංග්‍රීසි සහ දෙමලයන භාෂා තුනෙන්ම පැවති පුළුල් අධ්‍යාපන රටාව පිළිබඳව යන්කිසි අවබෝධයක් ලබා ගැනීමට ඒ කාලයේදී මට අවස්ථාව ලැබුණා प्रायोगिक इतनी बंगला तैर पुरुष अध्यक्ष ने कर लाकर उपस्थित किया गया है अध्यापन यह इवेंट नाम है है भाई ये आवश्य वटा वटा वक साल साल नति पुरुष ये अध्यापन इतने में कड़ा वेट लिमिट इतने बड़ा मैं बोलते हैं कि साल की ने इवेंट नान इवेंट नाक बावत तेरों के ने बाल का अंग्रेज बालिका हम उन्हें भी उपस्थि� उदय कुशीलां की के पावड़ा के भी विश्वीय पुरवेश्यां निर्माणी क्रीम सह ओन में लोग के दाय आदि क्रीम ऐसे ने भर अपने विश्वीय पुरवेश्यां भी कराने के आवश्यक हम राज्य को विनत किन्हें एक तरह का बड़ा नोसिटर अपने अत्याधुनिक नए जीवन के लिए आवश्यक बावतीय रूप का खर्चा मामूलीतरा कार्य के दैनिक � अबे सिस्टम टीके लगाने के लिए सिस्टम टीके लगाने के लिए भी ना सामान्य विषय के तो में सामान्य वर्तना के बाद तीन है अनागत आयोग वाले टे पहली तुरु बिया युद्धु नव विषय के साथ प्रयास कार्य का महत्व ज्ञात ही है अबे विकु हाल है इतने पासी कुर्सा का तय वर्दी ने किया होगा ने अबे विकु हाल टे मेमर व एपिड बदल अभी कारण की प्राप्त सुधार नहीं करा इस सुधार नहीं करने ने रावस्ता और इतमाई समय विदुम लबासी जिन्ह विवेंद्र नित्तो जो लोग बाहर था सिर्फ पावली आय समुद्र शांत अंधों विद्या आले पहले ये मेट्रो कर लोगे अमतर पंतिका अपने दुलहा की उन समान नित्त अभी सारे सुन कर दिखो बंदे के लिए पीड़ इनामलक्ष्य पढ़ा परित्याग के लिए मनित मां इवेलिम क्या मिलता है ये तो बात करने के लिए वहाँ में एक उदाहरण पर इवाद किया दिदास दाहा आटे हमारे बने बीच में उदाहरण देखो नियम की तो बुना लक्ष्य अनु नामे ताऊ प्याल दार के लिए इवाद किया मैं वो करने के लिए दिखने में सदा आवश्यक लगाने के लिए ती आपने अपने में आये सिंह अधिकतर लात जवंत बाद के वर्ण मोड़ दी बटर आपने सिद्ध हो रहा अब इब बाद के देख के बाद के लिए संदर्भ ही आपने अध्यवैक्ली में ठीक वन हेत उन्हें संदर्भ ही ये ले आपने आपने लेबुरु वाचना इन्हीं माता के लिए साये अब मैं � इन सवाल बीता है। ये तो ये थी बेकताव की जो वाक्य सिद्ध ये जो तुम्हारे हम सिद्ध बेरो। आज यहाँ पर अध्यापने गैपुरे टेम थीमी थी मटर सिस्टम के खुद में बाहर में यूट करती है मटर विशुद्ध बाग ले से मेरे को बड़े नहीं लगा साले से उनकी रीमा अपने आरे बने उड़ा। मेरे आरे बने यहाँ पर सदा सिस्टम � गुरु वरुण के साथ दिमाग के अंदर वेल में सुबह का दल लड़ने तब भी एक अंश साल साल दिमाग में में कोटे लगे इंसान की ने बाला पुरुष तुम्हें रहो में में कोटे लगे इंसान की ने अपने पास अलग सिंह अपने सिस्टम के लगा देने पास तम फोकुरे इतना वैधता कुर्सा पावटर पत्नी बटर अभी सेम के लिए बाहर सी वैधता अध्यापन क्षेत्र में विविध आवश्यकता सत्रह लिंग सदा हाँ मैं वो करने के लिए सरसों की नहीं था प्रवेश शुरू करें इतिहास बुना एक लेने में नहीं मार बाम बेम करने के लिए सदा हाँ मगे सरस में सिर्फ विस्तर साहित्य सहा इस सदा अपने में इत्यादि लोगों में इतनी विधि बने इतने प्रमाण ये पीड़ित बात अपने � नमति गुर नियमान शिष्य प्यार के मामूल प्रकाश करा मगर तो ना दया नहीं रहती तो प्यार मिलती इधर एक बार पासी तथा तरह के तमन के सेवे वेरिवेन सत्याक्त आयकरण नहीं लेते हुए 
Isi wajah ini mungkin korang bawa ke kandai ni. Pradhan engineer wan, dedeni puan, kiri randai nasa, kosal, kamu tu dia, yang bahagian tu nusah, hari tu bisesan ni kandai, awasnya pada di meja wamin, meja korang dah kiri lekat itu kerana yang ada arah betul. Di dalam si pelajar ni akan ada benda ni, mana benda, dayan, kerat, meja korang dah kiri lekat, saya rasa sangat pun tak ada, apa tu kerja kita baru tu. अंत अतिवार में सदा बुलगल तभी में थव आउट पहमार दागूंगा इनाम दिदास दासी आप पे पास तो नहीं अंधा हुआ था था भाई ये बुलगल जाएगा लेट बोल तार थे ठीक हुए ये ये किटबू अब के राज उसादी का आज मेरे जोशी बियानी ये तो बनुत के बाद ये मर अब काप से निकाये महाना हिमी अधिकार शामिल जायवाली � ऐतबाशे इनम अपने विद्यालय जहाँ से तुला अपने विशेष विद्यालय सेवे तल अपने आदि प्योर स्तादारे विद्यालय कोई पल रीडा पीटी रीडा पीटी असलाह आवश्यक रीडा अंदर प्रधान रीडा पीटी नगरुम अंदर जनवरी मासे विद्यालय मां पीटवे जावट फेरा उपगे दाय तत्ते आरंभ तल शांत आंदोलन विद्यालय पार कार आरंभ � Parijaya itu telah mudah ini abdi tahu bahawa dewa berdiri ada satu hak kita berapa? Isilu berani untuk isilu tidak ada bersih tuh. Apa bersih ini? Situ kerana ada biaya putih kerana awak tidak berapa. Apa kita dah jadi bersih dah? Ini biaya pemandu bersih dah kerana kita macam ini. Apa itu hal ini? Isilu ke arah syarikat sahaja tidak terima atau awak sudah ini hal ini. Ini sahaja itu hal ini. Perdahan berdiri dengan lebih pas di dalam tahap yang lebih sempurna. Then apa kita dahulu? Hari ini saya ini pada tahap ini. Ia adalah anda ini berdiri dengan sahaja. बाहुमार दी एक अक्षय बढ़ने की मत एम दरिंग के रुद्रवैना करावटी में दिव्य पैरली आदि शिष्य बढ़ने की लग बदमाश सिस्टम के प्रयोग दिने सदा के महाल बढ़ने की लाख लेसर नेवत बढ़ने की मत प्रदान की फ्री लाख के वटा खान का दिल्ली सांपूर्ण की मत समस्त आत्याप ने भास्कर संसार दी मत सदा कवत Uye Rahul itu hari Frida Pitya dijawab dengan jawatan antara pemimpin yang anwar angka sempurna Frida Pitya Pitya ini kini masalah ayat raja ini tidak memandang secara kibiyu itu mudahlah kewa awasan kini mai. Apa ajaran ini awasan awal ini? Apa ajaran tipu asal media di sah canda nanti kita alia. Eba ini melabah ini dan obat penenar pariti ini balita kita alia ini kita tidak tahu. Atenma. ये इताम आवास रावण तस्सील का अपने विद्यालय पर तिन पाया थी ये आपके असम में भी है इर्शाव साहब वैरदिया को दे फिर मदद स्मार्ट क्या करें सर तब दार में पाव थी महाविद्यालय पिटे में गिये पासु एंट्रेंस पे ले रा जितने इन्होंने में पढ़ती है चांदी में भी जितने साहा दयान हेयर अत्याने भागतरू और नशीब के नाम में मैं बोलना कि ले इतनी किरण खाने के तुच्छ का खाला करके बैलरी जान लेती तो थी मामूली हाले पीटे यहाँ पर फिरा बोलना कि ले सायद ही मैं आरंभ किरी में आपने आवश्यक लाभ लेता बोलना कि ले आरंभ किरी में प्रभात करवीन में मैं बिल्कुल हाले में आज शेप किसी उसाबी नर्दवात � एंट्रेंस पेरा महाता साहा अब गेम आज शिष्य पर नीतिन चांदी में भी इतने महाता आगे मध्यान की में विशेष एम आप ही प्रसाद से नियम पता करने के बाद अब साले इतने दास दास या फिर पास पे नीतिन ये वो करने के साथ की नेट मूल दलत है नियम सिद्ध करा ना वो प्रगति इता मंद दाली वाले सिद्ध होने इतने इतने प्रदाय Puhu berudu tak kalau kini mai. Awas orang tuh hebat berudu tak. Apa kau mampu? Kandai mak kira ini perisian yang terlalu. Perisian yang kira ni baru sahaja kalah yang tak tua. Ia perisian tiap hari pun. Mulut dia bersih dulu. Mata mak itu mana? Waktu mana ini tuh harus kita mata. Ia mampu berdiri. Awas orang ini. Itu hal penting dan baru Henry Jerat tapi itu bawa sih kodenya kini sambat tak kini tu. Akan dia bukan kini apa? Sangkar ini kini masa dah kodenya kini kampar pat kala. Namun. ये वो कहना नहीं लगा रहे इतना हम आओ को दिया इधर नती भी मिल सा प्रगतिया आओ में हो बहुत मार्ग में इतना मार्ग सीता हुई था मुझे अनेक आये निहार रहे थे यही में सामाजिक के देदरे को शांतार्थ निर्वित्याले उकात 
कैपुरी में सह आदर्य तब हदवत तबादत जगत एवंगे बाधा सह श्रीलाल मेंडिस जर बाधतरु एवं गुण्डे के जर सांकीर ने जब बोलने देने पर सिद्ध हुए चिशियल में एवाट बोलने देने गुण्डे की विवाद की मां अकार देवर आदत का क्रमित या मंगला पुत्र रहेगा इतिहास एवं कराल किया दरु महायति एवं कटी पु महायति सरल एक नायक बाधा की बहुत के लिए तांबरे सुविशेषण मध्य पलाती प्रधान अवात्य सर एक नायक बहता सामग्र सह देव में आप क्या रहते होंगे मेरे को नहीं मिला बड़ा कार्य के पाव चिकनी में सर सुधर भी मरा पूर्ति ने पाव दिखिया मेरे को नहीं मिला आरबुल भी बाद में इतना किटी सार से किरी में दोगल मम्मी तो नमक कराने को आसान था ना को बट अभी तक अपे अध्याप यानी मैं वैसे दर्शन में रहूं मैं प्रदर्शन तूने त्रिपाद पीठ के एक पाद तूने वाकी अनेक पाद देख नवेत हुए एक पादे नींद नगी सीज़ नहीं है कि सेम अध्यापने पहाड़ देख मेरा अंग तूने में सांपूर्ण नगी एक अंग्याप को देखा पवना सांपूर्ण नगी में पारिपूर्ण नगी से को डीपेंडिंग नहीं है कि वाकई म महाविनाश से बिटर पैर नहीं निकले हों। पाद तूने पाद या पढ़ने राज्य विषय नियम करे नुलाबन है निश्चित विषय निर्देश साहित्य विषय बारा हों। मैं सिर्फ पासल सदा अनिवार्य सिद्ध हो रहा हूँ। विलंब पादे नियोजन एवं ने सिर्फ पीड़ा ब्रोहस्त साहित्य महान गुणे सहाजाले साबतुतिते मेवागे बैठकारी प मीना तो पादे ने आयत करने दरुवंत और के पास है जीवित है तुला निर्दयी में डला भी ने पास है निश्चित में समिति सामान्य सह लवा समाज जनादी विषय समुदावी काटी थी मीना तब ये वाक विषय आने बात बनाते रहे उदाहरण एक सिंगल है विद्या समिति है ये वाक इतिहास ऐसे ये वाक स्वाधीन है बेटे पुरवांग उदाहरण � पढ़े दान उन्हें सजीवी रुद्री रेवाड़ ने सहम दारुवी को में अनुदान ने करने विविध आगम सह एवं आगम वाले वाटी ना था अब विद्यालय निपटी हुई टे सह लोक समाज के दायर तीरी में टे अब बेहस वाहन सिवन विश्व अपूर्व सेन वाले एवं बालकीय उत्तावक त्यागतीरा एक ही तरफ उठाई उत्तावक की बंदी अध्यापन शिष्ट्रे में अंग तुरंत में दस्तान दाखल होने में सिसे इतनी यही ऐसी सियाल विनाश कर में इतनी एक आना रिया जुने को नमैती बालकन में यावन इतना बालकन बुलडोस रेख का समान कला है कि अनिवार्य रेख में और इसी सिद्धि निम्नसार विनाश है ऐ उन का आप में अपने किस्सा आप में लगे थे आग में एवं न मात्र में आदिपति भाताल खाली नायकी सा समाजी सहायों के सामकाबी फैक्ट में तर्जनियत बने विरत दुष्ट हा बहन उत्कृष्ट बार पक्ति में बना कर लेते हैं तब तर्जन ही बाले अतर के न अन्य भागा तमन की अवश्यता वे भवनक किटुकर गाना विविध क्षेत्र वाले सीजन नायक विरुद्ध मेगा नेट आयत वेरों में ब Nita kepada bahasa ini lagu bulan biar milyen baha perjalanan hari ini ada anak siar rumah dal saya masih ada apa apa lagu ini open jadi kami super super betul dan disai sedahat terlalu ini jam jam ke itu disa ek hati apa yang disa kita ini ini kami yang kita ini guna dalam dalaman dalu dan dalaman open open perjalanan kita hari ini sampai malam ini tiada sita इधर आरंभ करने लगे शांत अंतों ने विद्यालय सुख साथ के बाहर ये भीतर त्रिज्यों में यमुना ला अभी अवस्था इतनी निर्भीत है वह इमा पिया वाले लोग आते ना तैनात के पाव तीन आकार एक में शांत अंतों ने विद्यालय लोटी पेन रखी थी इतना इसे नूना नम अब सत्तावर्ष दरनावा पूरा बहुत � शेष का आदेश आप बेन रखते हैं। मैं मैं शांत आंतों ने विद्या ले पा रहे हैं। परित्याग के थले साधके तो परित्याग के तब्बसी रोजना रोज़ होती है। 
මේ විද්‍යාලි පාරේ පිළිබඳවක් තියෙන තමයි වාර්තාර අද අර මුදලක් පිළිබඳ අදහස මුලින්ම අප ගෙන ආවේ මේ විද්‍යාලේ වාදී ශිෂ්‍යයින් වල දම්කා බලසිංහ සහ ලයිනර් පිරිස් මහත්තර කිසිදු විදිය වියදමකින් තොරව වාර්තාර ඔක්කොම සකස් කර දුන්නේ අපේ විද්‍යාලේ වාදී ශිෂ්‍ය මුර්ෂි පාරු නැවති මහත්මයයි මම වාරේ සභාපති විදියට වැඩ කටයුතු කළා මේ වාර මුදලයි මුල් වාර්තාරවන් වූ ආරම්භක මුදල පරිත්‍යාගල රෝහන් පී විජේසිංහ මහතාටත් අනිත් වාර්තාරවන් වූ ජෝසෙෆ් පී තිමෝති පල්දානෝ මහතාට කේ දෝන ඇන් ශාබිනි දුර මහත්මියට සාකාංචලා ආර් කේ පුනරත්න මෑනියන්ට විදුහල වෙනුවෙන් අපේ ස්තුතිය ව්‍යවස්ථා දිකුත් කරන්න කැමතියි ඒකට තව විශේෂ හේතුවක් තියෙනවා महाकृति अबे अध्यापन देख बेटा अनुभव में बुकर ने किसी सांकीर ने बाल का करने किसी ऐसे आने पीली बात हुए अब ये आवाज की वही तो थी बेटा सामान्य इकाई भी में संप्रदाय बनने पति खाबरे इकाई भी में साह के इस तरह का तेरे में बुकर में दी गुरुवर्या सिस्टम के अतर पावती ने सांग किसी सांग सांग हुए थे या लम्ब बे बुकर � पास काम पाउच कराने पे इधर बैठे थे रहा मेरे सांपूर्ण रहने हम ये वा उपग्रह दायक अत्यंत सांपूर्ण कर गए क्रीड़ा का इस दायक हम ये कोई क्रीड़ा गुरुवरुंट भूल करुंट ये वा किन क्रीड़ा वाले इधर लाए थे खाबर सांपूर्ति में बढ़ने के लिए में कर रहे थे रहा ये वा इधर ही सिद्ध हुए ये वा कि हमें र निवास का कार्य देखा कि यहाँ उसी दिन कुछ साल बाद दिन कुछ वासी या इधर ये दिन संपूर्ण वेला पर पावित करने के पूर्व आवश्यक है वासी मगे आते हैं अपने देख में साह आउट या अनुभव निवासन की ने एक ऐसी तरह धातु के दाखवा स्थिर पंतिका में नोटिस दिया युद्ध ये नियमित वासी इनमें विद्यालय प्रति वर्यात इसलिए सर्दी मात पैरों से बाहर निकालना वो बना कर भी इलाज सीखना है। मैं नम विदत वैदर निम्न क्रीम बटर थवा बाहर थोड़ा सहा जलन टाइम की दिन क्रीम बटर प्रदेश आप ताऊ इतने अति बिना ये वाली बात है मैं भी उसके तलाक ताऊ को कामर वाले ना आवश्य अत्यापन बेवलम सफेद दाते दिखते थे बिना वैदर � खावर वाले ने अवश्य करने उपकरण ने बुरवादे शाह बलाय वास पे आदि में ने उपाधि के लिए लगे लोग सामान्य को सांप्रदाय का आते में बंदा सांगवीदी होती है ना सामान्य को सांप्रदाय का आते उपाध बिन सिंह आदर ऐसे इताम सीमित प्रयोग ने आप बाबा अभी आमतौर पर ना पढ़ाई की इवेन लोगों ने वर्तमाने इतनी जान पहले � इधर ये पराधे आवेग में पाव दिया हो। नमूद उकात मिनिसुन आदमी इंसान आदमी का वट्टा का बनी सावी पाल दानवान निर्माण शीली वसा नव निपायु खानवान भी ऐतना किसी में यंत्रे के टे इवेंट लोग पराय पराजय कराने के बहार यंत्र सूत्र निपदवान ने ओबा ये ओबा वे निपदवा निर्माण के टे तिमिने दिलान वाहन से � एक आसान वासी मत मेरे में कमाल किया रहा मैं बोलता हूँ कि लस दाह बैरे डामाक सूझ रहा कर लेती है रहा एक तो मैं मैं कि पहले ने तब अरु तारे वारहाल ऐतुले कोराइस किए ना बच्चे ने ये दुआ मैं बोलता हूँ कि लिया आते आप इधर वड़ा जारा पे रहा वो दो रोज़ कोराइस देखते अपने पिक्चर अपने � ये वाक्य हम शुद्ध अंतोनी मुंडन के जाग जाग सारक शाम ने बीवा पर ये लोग ये हमारे क्या निकाल रहे हैं उसी उधर आने से
Dear Heavenly Father, in this detail, I inspire words. I have God invite the Senior Assistant Secretary, Ministry of Education, Central Province, Mr. Prabhat Madhu Maharaji, the representative of the Chief Secretary of Ministry of Education, Central Province, to address the gathering. Sir, the morning is yours. Gamana Tavat Vedo Athena. 
එහෙම නැතුව ඒ තාක්ෂණික උපකරණ ඔක්කොම පැත්තකට දාලා එපා එහෙම යන්න කියලා ඔන්න පන්ති එකට දාලා උගන්වන්න ගත්තොත් මම හිතනවා ඒක සාර්ථක වෙන්නේ නැහැ ඒකට මේ ගොඩන කියල මම හිතනවා ඉදිරියේදී විශාල පිටුවාලක් වෙන මේ නවීන තාක්ෂණික උපකරණ උපාංග එක වාසි ලස්සනට පැහැදිලි කරයි කි පාට වර්ණ මේ සංකලනයේ ඉඳලා බොහෝ දේවල් හිතලා මේ කරපු ආයෝජනේ මම හිතන්නේ මුදලින් මම ඉන්න පුළුවන් ආයෝජනයක් නෙවෙයි ඒක මම හිතනවා ඉදිරි කාලාන්තරයකට මේ දරුවන්ගේ අනාගතය සාර්ථක කරගන්න මම හිතනවා මේ ආයෝජනය උපකාරී වෙයි කියලා ඉතින් මට මේ අවස්ථාවට ආරාධනා කිරීම සම්බන්ධව පාද විජයරත්නට වගේම මේ සංවිධායක මණ්ඩලයට ස්තුතිවන්ත වෙමි අධ්‍යාපන අමාත්‍යාංශයේ විදියට මේ සඳහා දී ඇති නිතාම පුංචි සහයෝගයක් මට ආරංචි විදියට දැනගන්න ලැබිච්ච විදියට නමුත් ඉදිරියේදී මේ පාසලේ අභිවෘද්ධිය වෙනුවෙන් අධ්‍යාපන අමාත්‍යාංශය වෙනුවෙන් කළ හැකි සෑම සියලු දෙයම කරන්න බලාපොරොත්තු වෙනවා කියන පොරොන්දුවක් ලබා දෙමින් ලේකම්තුමා වෙනුවෙන් මට මේ අවස්ථාව ලබා දීම සම්බන්ධව නැවත වතාවක් සිදුවන්න තමයි මම හිතන වෙනවා බොහොම ස්තුතියි Boys' School. 
The college found its new home in its current location by the side of Mahavali River under the patronage of the illustrious Silver Street Prelate, Bishop B. Beckmeyer, uh, OSB, the then Bishop of Kendi. Since then, a galaxy of monks have dedicated their efforts to elevate St. Anthony's College to, to its present state. This year, we mark the 132nd milestone of the unbroken legacy of Sylvester Benedictine presence at college. Let us remember and honor this lineage as we step into a new era with the Padua building. Today, we inaugurate the Padua building, a testament to our commitment to education. This structure, a bright child of our former rector and beloved confrier, Reverend Father Titus Rodrigo, OSB, and brought to fruition by its eminent successor, Reverend Father Henry B. Girardin, OSB, stands as a symbol of our resilience and dedication. Like their predecessors, Father Titus and uh, predecessors, um, Father Titus and Father Henry, Father Henry had to face immense challenges and humiliations, yet they persevered like a sacrilegious tree. As the great Buddhist and social reformer, Sir Anagrika Dharmapala once said, those who wish to accomplish something great in Sri Lanka must be prepared to face insult. I am also reminded of what the Lord Jesus had to say. If the world hates you, keep in mind that it hated me first. John chapter 15, 18. Unfortunately, this seems to be how things happen in Sri Lanka. However, we stand tall today, proud of this monumental structure, a testament to the courage and bravery of all who supported this cause initiated by the OSP fathers. I salute and thank them for the inspiring example they have set before the Antonian confraternity. I also remember Mr. Srinal Mendes and all true Antonians who diligently labored with the priests and gave their utmost to complete this building. I should also mention that if donations were not received from the students and well-wishers, we would never be able to see this magnanimous building providing shelter to our alma mater today. On our part, we, the OSB fathers, promise to give our best to sack, following the footsteps of our pioneer missionary monks. May God bless our dear alma mater through the prayerful mediation of our patron and miracle worker, St. Anthony of Padua. May God bless you, yours in Christ, Reverend Father Shamindra Jayavardhan OSB, Conventual Pride. Thank you, Reverend Father. Now, none of us got to be our, we are alone. Whether the assistance we received was obvious or suffering, acknowledging someone's help is a big part of understanding the importance of saying thank you. Now we have come to the most important segment of today's program. To begin with, we would like to acknowledge the great service of Mr. Gayan Herab, one of our very bright alumni and a great disciple of famous Jeffrey Bava, who very kindly undertook the architectural part of this building without any charge. Now I kindly invite Mr. Gayan Herab on stage. To avoid the token of appreciation, I now respectfully invite our Hello. director, Reverend Father Henry Bernard Vijay Ravner, on stage. Me, me. Thank you, Father. Thank you, sir. This humble request is to our rector, Reverend Father Henry Bernard Vijay Ravner, to give a brief introduction about the other two important personalities prior to the acknowledgement. Thank you very much. 
my dear friends, uh, as I took over my responsibility as the principal in 2013, I knew nothing about this project, though I was here there for about three years. So when I came to the seat, there were so many opinions whether this project should go ahead as a white elephant or just forget about it. But with uh, all my reflections, I thought I should continue this as a respect for my predecessor. <coughs> to, but to begin with, as I knew nothing of this, I had to depend on few individuals. The first thing I was, I did was organizing the building committee. So there were so many who are seated here, sincerely, loyally supported me. Most of them are all boys. I'm not going to mention them by names because uh, most of the old boys, they supported me. But among them, there are two individuals who really worked for me, who shouldered my responsibilities. As it was mentioned, directly and indirectly, there had been a lot of disturbances, barriers for this project. And we needed clearance from the Department of Education. So as a principal, I could not waste my time because I had to look after the children in the school. But this responsibility was voluntarily taken up by few individuals. Among them today, with my heartfelt gratitude, I should mention two figures. One is Mr. Anton Terera, who took all the initiatives, who spent his time, energy, for on behalf of the principal. So I can invite you to come forward, Mr. Anton Terera, to pay my tribute to you. There's the other person, if not this gentleman, this project would have been realized by now. He is the person who took all the responsibility on behalf of the principal, which really I believe all what he did was, should have been done by me, but he took his, this responsibility with his own money, with his own time, the amount of telephone calls he would have made, the petrol he would have spent, I can't count. I think St. Anthony's is blessed, St. Anthony's College is blessed to have this type of alumni. Mr. Srila Mendes, you are the person who has been all this project. So I really sincerely pay my tribute to you. Thank you. one step among thousands yet to be taken. The future is always uncertain, but we who celebrate what we have what you have done, who celebrates all of your achievements, we are certain of one thing on this day. You will not let us down. While bringing to you this final court, we conclude this grand unveiling with the hope and trust in our young eagles. May they continue to sow with determination and courage, reaching in a greater heights. So, I now respectfully invite the headmaster of the primary department, Rev. Father Gushan Pereira, to present the closing remarks.
It's my privilege to propose the vote of thanks and acknowledge the contribution of those who worked really hard to make this official opening of the newly constructed building a success. A new building is always something to be excited about. We want all our students to achieve their full potential. Our task is to make it possible and to provide a platform for the same. As we step to another milestone of the official opening of the newly constructed building, I express my heartfelt thanks to all those who have made this grand opening of Padua new building a reality and the huge success which was placed and open for the education and well-being of the present and future students of St. Anthony's College. I would like to start by thanking Honorable Chief Kiss, Right Reverend Dr. Valence Mendes, who has taken time out of his busy schedule to grace this occasion. Your presence and inspiring words had added a sense of honor and an extra spark and motivation to the event, and we are grateful to your continued support towards our college and its activities, and especially in making this event more specially a truly memorable and a successful location. Thank you, my Lord Bishop, for being a catalyst that stimulates us to do our best. I would like to extend my gratitude to Venerable Father Susay Nadal, the Vice President of the Civil Society Congregation, for gracing the occasion. I would like to express my appreciation to the Assistant Director of Education Central Province, Mr. Prabhat Madhumarachi, for representing the Chief Secretary, the Provincial Director, Mr. Amaru Siripiya Dasa, the Sonal Education Directors of Candy, Madam Mrs. Chamari Andaragi, the Divisional Director of Education, Mr. Veera Kodi, the College Coordinator, Madam Mrs. K. D. D. Priyadarshadi, for graceful participation. I would like to extend my gratitude to Reverend Father Titus Redu OSP, the former principal of the concept of the seven story building. A construction like this cannot happen overnight. The wheels started rolling years ago. It requires planning and a bird's eye for details. We have been fortunate enough to be backed by a wonderful, productive team headed by you. Thank you, dear Father, for always being an unwavering support in initiating, guiding, and being an instrument in the development of the massive construction. I would like to extend my gratitude to our principal, Reverend Father Henry Bernard Vichir of OSP, for your rock solid support in planning and organizing this construction, which you executed with so much of passion and zeal. Your wisdom and guidance have been a source of, source of strength for the success of this venture. I can't leave this event close without thanking some important people who have helped in many ways making this dream of ours a reality and success. First of all, I would like to thank Mr. Gayan Hera, Chartered uh, Architect, who designed the concept of seven-story building free of charge, which empowered us to reach our goal. Next, I would like to thank the Chief Minister, Mr. Sarath Ekanayaka, for cooperating, cooperation given in 2013 to approve the new construction despite the objection that arose from external personnel. I would like to thank Mr. Vivendra Lin Totamela, loyal all boy, for his generous contribution of rupees 5 million in 2010, which is the first and the highest donation towards this project. Though he is not here, his generous contribution have not gone unnoticed, and we are grateful for it. Next, I would like to thank Mrs. CMS Disanayaka, the Deputy Provincial Director of Engineering, and Mrs. Deepanath Disanayaka, the District Engineer of the Engineering Division, for assistance given during the construction period from 2016 to 2023, who not only took their time to uh, part in this construction, but also motivated to keep it moving. A special thank goes to Mr. Chandima Vijay Tunga, Mr. Jagat Herat, Mr. Lionel Piris, Mr. Anton Pereira, 
analyst late Mr. Duki Donabila distinguished all boys who helped him in many ways to get station statutory approvals from 2009 to 2012 despite many objections and challenges. Thank you for your support and hard works rendered to make this construction a success. I would also like to extend my gratitude to Mr. Murshid Maharu, all boy of Sakoba, Colombo branch, former president for his assistance to form the Anturian Trust Fund in order to collect funds for this project. Thank you for your selfless service and enthusiasm to achieve our goal. I would like to thank you, Mr. Sri Lal Mendis, who were the main pillar behind the scene, who worked tirelessly in order to construct this massive building. Your dedicated, dedicated service is an inspiration to all of us. Let me thank you, Mr. Asankar Veer Surya, our technical officer and the former TOs, members of the building committee, members of the school development executive committee, members of the college development committee, and Mr. Mark Stephen, the president of Sakoba. In conclusion, I would like to say this, uh, that this event would not have been possible without the support and hard work of each and every one of you. On behalf of the college, I would like to express my sincere thanks to all of you, especially the Benedictine Fathers community at college, our Deputy Principal, Reverend Father Gregory Van Andrew ASB, and all the deputies, all the assistant principals, the members of the academic and the non-academic staff, the prefect skills, the media society, parents, the all boys, and the stakeholders of the college, and special invitees. Thanks to each and every one of you, and may God bless you, may God bless you, Luz Pichero. Thank you, Reverend Father. Please rise for the national anthem.
presentation announcement. The refreshments for the fathers and the dignitaries from the department are arranged outside the auditorium. So please proceed outside the auditorium. I repeat, the refreshments. Outside the auditorium.